Hi, good morning. Do you want to take a wild guess as to where I am? Okay, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Every time I come to Kyoto, I do the same thing. <laughs> can you see to Kyoto Tower? Can you see Kyoto Tower? But yes, I meant this morning, today, the whole day, I'll be in Kyoto. It's right now I'm at the top of Kyoto Station where they have a view gate. An amazing view, you can see the city back here. I'm in Kyoto because they had a late fall season, um, meaning the leaves were just starting to peak or be very colorful um, a week ago or this week. So I think I just made it in time to see the fall leaves, which are one of the highlights of Kyoto. They're, they're so beautiful. So I'm going to go try and go to the usual spots. I'm also going to the Golden Pavilion, which has been on my to-do to list forever. And I didn't get to do it the last time I was in Kyoto, so I'm happy. And yeah, ooh, what temple can I see over there? It is gorgeous. I, I like Kyoto. It's full of tourists, however, which I can't stand. Yes, I'm a tourist, but I still can't stand them. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm gonna go take the subway to the Golden Pavilion and try and record as much as possible, but my hands, my hands are really cold, so. Holding them, holding the camera with them, it, it's, it might prevent me from filming as much as I want to. Also, I'm cold, if you can't tell. I'm bundled up. The view on Kyoto Station Terrace was actually very nice, very nice, and it was a great day. The only thing I didn't like was the glass around the balcony area, this glass here. It kind of prevents you from taking a nice shot of the view. But it's, it's okay. It was still nice to be there. After I left the terrace, I took from this Kyoto station, I took the subway to Kito Oji station and then followed directions in the station to the bus depot and took the bus to go the Golden Pavilion, which was easier than taking it from Kyoto station because it was very crowded. The bus stop was very crowded from there. Golden Pavilion is behind me right now and it turns out to be more magnificent than I, than I ever imagined. And my pictures won't do it justice, but here's a beautiful pond behind it too. So this is King Kobo, the Golden Pavilion. two of my pictures from Kinkakuji. Now I know why so many people visit it. It's beautiful and it's serene and it's definitely a must see. So I barely, <laughs> I don't know, I keep getting lost. Uh, after exiting the Golden Pavilion, I got lost somewhere in Northern Kyoto, but it's okay. I made my way back to Kyoto Station and now I'm on my way to Kiyo Mizudera which is one of the best spots to see the autumn leaves and yeah i'm just gonna i've been walking it from the station so i'm a little tired oh where did the light go yeah i'm a little tired but everything's groovy i'm headed to kiyomizu or kiyomizu there or kiyomizu temple and the fall colors here are freaking gorgeous um, thank you to the random gaijin who gave me a free ticket. You're so kind. Saved me $300. Look at that. So I'm gonna go around the, this area here and get a better shot. Look at the colors. It's like peak. I came at the right time.
I still can't get over how beautiful the colors were at Kiyomizu Dera. This is the second time I went to Kiyomizu Dera, but the last time was in the summer. So it's definitely more beautiful in the fall with the leaves changing. So <laughs> great spot to see that. So I made it to Tadaiji. I walked all the way from Kiyomi, Kiyomizu Dera and I made it just in time for the sun setting. Oh look, there's a giant Buddha, the biggest one in Kyoto behind me. I was actually looking at this for at first. Oh man, can't see it. Can you see the sun setting? Yeah, there's a gorgeous view of the sun setting over the mountains. So I was looking at that and then I turned around and I was like, Oh, there's a giant Buddha. So there it is. I'm going to look around and then I'm here for the nighttime illumination and then I'm going to make my way back home to Wakayama and it's been a long day but completely worth it. Kyoto is gorgeous. If you decide next year to go and view the illuminations, the nighttime illuminations at Kadaiji Temple, try and get there right as the sun is setting as I did. That way you can avoid the crowds because it and, and the li lines, there was a really long line because Kodaiji is actually one of the top three, top three places to view the leaves because they have a pond feature where when, well no, you'll see it later, I'm not going to spoil it for you. The main hall was having a kimono display or kimono exhibition. Um, and the pieces were really gorgeous and you could tell that they were probably centuries old um, and I enjoyed that especially because there was a kimono exhibition in Kobe that I missed the week before so I got a miniature one so that was great yay <laughs> I enjoyed it but I couldn't film inside unfortunately Man, Mother Nature, sometimes she just starts feeling herself and just looks amazing and that's exactly how Kodaiji looks. They, the, the leaves in the day were gorgeous and then when they light them up at night, it just looks even more amazing. It, it was breathtaking, it really was breathtaking. And the best part was, I mentioned it earlier, the pond, the reflections on the pond when you saw the lights and the water it 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 I have no words I have no words it was gorgeous go next year go you have to go and see this that's the famous rock garden which was perfectly manicured and raked and it's supposed to represent the ocean the vastness of the ocean it was it, it's a zen garden so yeah it was very you know calming to look at but that's where the illuminations took place it was projected onto the rocks and that that uh, gate that gate there And that's where my journey, my adventure in Kyoto ended. The fall leaves were amazing. Everything went great except for the part where I was walking down this bamboo walk and slipped and sprained my ankle. But it worked out. I made it home alive. It was a gorgeous, perfect day in Kyoto. So again next year.